Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. Did a little garage sailing this morning, so I want to show you what I got. Of course, you know I always start off looking at books. Um, these books over here I scanned, got some neat Jewish stuff. Look at that English Yiddish dictionary. I may just keep that. I love Yiddish. It's so cool. Um, but these over here were in a basement where I didn't have any cell signal. So I just grabbed a few titles and I kind of wanted to test myself uh, to see how good I was at picking winners. Um, so this theory is the universe sounds really cool, but the rank is 2.8 mil and there's $4 seller. So that is going to be donated. Eagle has landed. The rank is 300,000 and there's only one FBA. So as soon as that sells off, um, that will be a calm blue ocean for me. I will price it where I want. Naked in the dead first edition. This is a uh, 400,000 rank. Lowest FBA is $45. Now it's got a little damage here, so I'm going to have to list that in acceptable condition. Um, so I'll probably price a little below that, maybe in the 30s. Diary of Anais Nin, the um, rank is 33,000, and the lowest FBA is 9 bucks. Herman Wauk, Warren Remembrance. I've sold the single volume book a couple of times, so I thought that the two volume set would be a good pick, especially since it's a uh, first edition from the 70s. But no, this has a terrible rank. So that will be donated as well. Got a couple of cool vintage um, Spellwright dictionary typewriters from Smith Corona. Paid um, $3 for this, and I'll sell it for $30. Paid $1 for this, and I'll sell it for $20. And by the way, big heavy stuff like this, I always make the buyer pay shipping. So that'll be $30 sale price plus shipping. $20 plus shipping. Good lesson for you guys there. Uh, dual draft stopper paid a dollar. That'll sell for 12. This jumbo remote paid 75 cents. That has a really good rank in electronics, by the way. Uh, I'll sell that for 12 also. Got a couple of games. This is a 1960s version of Cootie. There is a listing on Amazon, but there are zero sellers. Um, the listings for the other versions of Cootie, like the 1949 and the 1975, um, have pretty decent ranks, and they're priced at like 40 50 bucks. So I think um, I paid $5 for this, so I think that was a good investment. Also this, when you see unusual games, man, just, just grab them, right? Because I paid a dollar for this, and um, this is selling on, well, it's got a high rank on Amazon, um, with a low seller of $24, but there's sold listings on eBay for around $40. So I think I'll just keep it and eBay it. So yeah, a dollar. Seriously, guys. Oh, I also picked up some radios, paid a dollar for the Sanyo, paid $3 for the, um, what is that, Zenith, and paid $0.75 cents for this GE. And all of those will sell for $20, $25 bucks on eBay. And of course, I'm going to test them and clean them up a little first. Okay, got a couple things here that I could not find. Um, this, I don't know, it just looks so cool. I had to grab it. It's new in box, paid $5 for it, may have been a dud purchase. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. I think it looks cool. Also, this thing, Rapido Mirchschaumer. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't read German, but my gosh, it's new in package, and it's a cool European kitchen thing. Yes, of course, I'm going to pay $3 for it. Shut up and take my money. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on that. I don't know what I can get for it. Um, Yakov on Broadway. This is a sealed DVD. Um, you guys have heard me give some warnings about DVDs on Amazon. I don't do a whole lot of them, but this sells on eBay pretty regularly for ten bucks. So dollar isn't a bad deal. Uh, Two dollars for this clock radio. I've actually sold this on eBay before. Also, um, this sells pretty regularly for uh, twelve, fifteen, sometimes twenty bucks. With this Game Boy, I paid ten dollars for that. Uh, has a decent rank in video games on Amazon and sells for right around thirty nine, forty bucks. Vintage rotary phone, only paid a dollar, should be able to get uh, 15, 20 bucks for that. This box of um, tubes, electronic tubes, um, I don't know what I can get for it. I paid two dollars for the whole box. Um, looks like some similar boxes on eBay, um, not the same type of tube, but similar like uh, count are going for 30, 35, maybe 40 bucks. So I think two dollars is a good investment. Uh, vintage folding travel iron. I paid $5. I'll sell that for $15. And this Moen shower head has a really good rank in uh, home on Amazon. I paid $3 and it is selling for $30. So I think that was a productive couple hours this morning. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. And tell me what you're finding in your sourcing.